Rhenium is a chemical element with symbol Re and atomic number 75. It is a silvery gray, heavy, third row transition metal in group 7 of the periodic table. With an estimated average concentration of 1 part per billion ppb, rhenium is one of the rarest elements in the Earth's crust. Rhenium has the third highest melting point and second highest boiling point of any element at 5903K. Rhenium resembles manganese and technetium chemically and is mainly obtained as a byproduct of the extraction and refinement of molybdenum and copper ores. Rhenium shows in its compounds a wide variety of oxidation states ranging from -1 to +7. Discovered in 1908, rhenium was the second last stable element to be discovered. It was named after the River Rhine in Europe. Nickel-based superalloys of rhenium are used in the combustion chambers, turbine blades, and exhaust nozzles of jet engines. These alloys contain up to 6% rhenium, making jet engine construction the largest single use for the element. The second most important use is as a catalyst. Rhenium is an excellent catalyst for hydrogenation and isomerization, and is used for example in catalytic reforming of naphtha for use in gasoline reniforming process. Because of the low availability relative to demand, rhenium is expensive, with price reaching an all-time high in 2008-2009 $10,600 per kilogram $4,800 per pound. Due to increases in rhenium recycling and a drop in demand for rhenium in catalysts, the price of rhenium has dropped to $2,844 per kilogram $1,290 per pound as of July 2018. History Rhenium Latin, renus meaning rhine was the second last discovered of the elements that have a stable isotope other new elements discovered in nature since then, such as francium, are radioactive. The existence of a yet undiscovered element at this position in the periodic table had been first predicted by Dmitry Mendeleev. Other calculated information was obtained by Henry Moseley in 1914. In 1908, Japanese chemist Masataka Agawa announced that he had discovered the 43rd element and named it Nipponium NP after Japan, Nippon in Japanese. However, recent analysis indicated the presence of rhenium, element 75, not element 43, although this reinterpretation has been questioned by Eric Sherry. The symbol NP was later used for the element Neptunium and the name Nihonium also named after Japan, along with symbol NH, was later used for element 113. Element 113 was also discovered by a team of Japanese scientists and was named in respectful homage to Agawa's work. Rhenium is generally considered to have been discovered by Walter Nodick, Ida Nodick, and Otto Berg in Germany. In 1925 they reported that they had detected the element in platinum ore and in the mineral columbite. They also found rhenium in gadolinite and molybdenite. In 1928 they were able to extract 1 gram of the element by processing 660 kg of molybdenite. It was estimated in 1968 that 75% of the rhenium metal in the United States was used for research and the development of refractory metal alloys. It took several years from that point before the superalloys became widely used. Topic: <laughs> Characteristics Rhenium is a silvery white metal with one of the highest melting points of all elements, exceeded by only tungsten and carbon. It also has one of the highest boiling points of all elements. It is also one of the densest, exceeded only by platinum, iridium and osmium. Rhenium has a hexagonal close-packed crystal structure, with lattice parameters a. Topic: 276.1 pm and c. 445.6 pm, its usual commercial form is a powder, but this element can be consolidated by pressing and sintering in a vacuum or hydrogen atmosphere. This procedure yields a compact solid having a density above 90% of the density of the metal. When annealed this metal is very ductile and can be bent, coiled, or rolled. Rhenium molybdenum alloys are superconductive at 10 K. Tungsten rhenium alloys are also superconductive around 4 to 8 K, depending on the alloy. 
Rhenium metal superconducts at 1.697 plus or minus 0.006 K in bulk form and at room temperature and atmospheric pressure. The element resists alkalis, sulfuric acid, hydrochloric acid, dilute but not concentrated nitric acid and aqua regia. Topic: Isotopes. Rhenium has one stable isotope, rhenium-185, which nevertheless occurs in minority abundance, a situation found only in two other elements indium and tellurium. Naturally occurring rhenium is only 37.4% 185Re, and 62.6% 187Re, which is unstable but has a very long half-life approximately equals 1,010 years. This lifetime can be greatly affected by the charge state of rhenium atom. The beta decay of 187 Re is used for rhenium osmium dating of ores. The available energy for this beta decay keV is one of the lowest known among all radionuclides. The isotope rhenium 186 m is notable as being one of the longest lived metastable isotopes with a half life of around 200,000 years. There are 25 other recognized radioactive isotopes of rhenium. Topic. Compounds Rhenium compounds are known for all the oxidation states between minus 3 and plus 7 except minus 2. The oxidation states plus 7, plus 6, plus 4, and plus 2 are the most common. Rhenium is most available commercially as salts of perinate, including sodium and ammonium perinates. These are white, water-soluble compounds. Halides and oxyhalides The most common rhenium chlorides are RECL6, RECL5, RECL4, and RECL3. The structures of these compounds often feature extensive re-re bonding, which is characteristic of this metal in oxidation states lower than 7. Salts of RE2Cl8-2- feature a quadruple metal-metal bond. Although the highest rhenium chloride features Re v, fluorine gives the D0-Re derivative rhenium heptafluoride. Bromides and iodides of rhenium are also well known. Like tungsten and molybdenum, with which it shares chemical similarities, rhenium forms a variety of oxyhalides. The oxychlorides are most common, and include ReOCl4, ReOCl3. Oxides and sulfides The most common oxide is the volatile colorless Re207. Rhenium trioxide ReO3 adopts a perovskite like structure. Other oxides include Re205, ReO2, and Re203. The sulfides are Res2 and Re2S7. Perinate salts can be converted to tetrathioperinate by the action of ammonium hydrosulfide. Topic. Other compounds Rhenium diboride Reb2 is a hard compound having the hardness similar to that of tungsten carbide, silicon carbide, titanium diboride or zirconium diboride. Topic. Organorhenium compounds Dorhenium decacarbonyl is the most common entry to organorhenium chemistry. Its reduction with sodium amalgam gives Na -re -co with rhenium in the formal oxidation state minus 1. Dorhenium decacarbonyl can be oxidized with bromine to bromopentacarbonylenium I Re 2 -co 10 plus bridge 2 2 Re -co 5 by reduction of this pentacarbonyl with zinc and acetic acid gives pentacarbonyl hydridorhenium Re CO 5 bridge plus Zn plus HOAC Re CO 5 H plus zinc bromide OAC methylenium trioxide MTO CH3 ReO3 as a volatile, colorless solid has been used as a catalyst in some laboratory experiments. It can be prepared by many routes. A typical method is the reaction of Re2O7 and tetramethylton. Re 207 plus CH3 4 SNCH3 ReO3 plus CH3 3 Snorio3 analogous alkyl and aryl derivatives are known. MTO catalyses for the oxidations with hydrogen peroxide. 
Terminal alkynes yield the corresponding acid or ester, internal alkynes yield diketones, and alkenes give epoxides. MTO also catalyses the conversion of aldehydes and diazoalkanes into an alkene. Nonahydridorhenate A distinctive derivative of rhenium is nonahydridorhenate, originally thought to be the renide anion, Re-, but actually containing the Re2-9 anion in which the oxidation state of rhenium is plus 7. Occurrence Rhenium is one of the rarest elements in Earth's crust with an average concentration of 1 ppb. Other sources quote the number of 0.5 ppb, making it the 77th most abundant element in Earth's crust. Rhenium is probably not found free in nature, its possible natural occurrence is uncertain, but occurs in amounts up to 0.2% in the mineral molybdenite, which is primarily molybdenum disulfide, the major commercial source, although single molybdenite samples with up to 1.88% have been found. Chile has the world's largest rhenium reserves, part of the copper ore deposits, and was the leading producer as of 2005. It was only recently that the first rhenium mineral was found and described in 1994, a rhenium sulfide mineral res condensing from a fumarole on Kudriavi volcano, a Turup island, in the Kuril Islands. Kudravi discharges up to 20–60 kg rhenium per year mostly in the form of rhenium disulfide. Named rheniite, this rare mineral commands high prices among collectors. Production Commercial rhenium is extracted from molybdenum roaster flue gas obtained from copper sulfide ores. Some molybdenum ores contain 0.001% to 0.2% rhenium. Rhenium oxide and perenic acid readily dissolve in water, they are leached from flue dusts and gases and extracted by precipitating with potassium or ammonium chloride as the perinate salts, and purified by recrystallization. Total world production is between 40 and 50 tons per year. The main producers are in Chile, the United States, Peru, and Poland. Recycling of used PT re catalyst and special alloys allow the recovery of another 10 tons per year. Prices for the metal rose rapidly in early 2008, from $1,000 to $2,000 per kilogram in 2003 to 2006 to over $10,000 in February 2008. The metal form is prepared by reducing ammonium perinate with hydrogen at high temperatures. 2NH4 RaO4 plus 7H22 Re plus 8H2O plus 2NH3. Topic: Applications. Rhenium is added to high temperature superalloys that are used to make jet engine parts, using 70% of the worldwide rhenium production. Another major application is in platinum rhenium catalysts, which are primarily used in making lead-free, high-octane gasoline. Topic alloys The nickel-based superalloys have improved creep strength with the addition of rhenium. The alloys normally contain 3% or 6% of rhenium. Second-generation alloys contain 3%. These alloys were used in the engines for the F15 and F16, whereas the newer single crystal third-generation alloys contain 6% of rhenium. They are used in the F22 and F35 engines. Rhenium is also used in the superalloys such as CMSX4, second gen, and CMSX10, third gen, that are used in industrial gas turbine engines like the GE7FA. Rhenium can cause superalloys to become microstructurally unstable, forming undesirable TCP topologically close -packed phases. In fourth and fifth generation superalloys, ruthenium is used to avoid this effect. Among others the new superalloys are EPM-102 with 3% RU and TMS-162 with 6% RU, as well as TMS-138 and TMS-174. For 2006, the consumption is given as 28% for General Electric, 28% Rolls-Royce PLC and 12% Pratt & Whitney, all for superalloys, whereas the use for catalysts only accounts for 14% and the remaining applications use 18%. In 2006, 77% of the rhenium consumption in the United States was in alloys. 
The rising demand for military jet engines and the constant supply made it necessary to develop superalloys with a lower rhenium content. For example, the newer CFM International CFM56 High Pressure Turbine HPT blades will use Rene N515 with a rhenium content of 1.5% instead of Rene N5 with 3%. Rhenium improves the properties of tungsten. Tungsten rhenium alloys are more ductile at low temperature, allowing them to be more easily machined. The high temperature stability is also improved. The effect increases with the rhenium concentration, and therefore tungsten alloys are produced with up to 27% of Re, which is the solubility limit. Tungsten rhenium wire was originally created in efforts to develop a wire that was more ductile after recrystallization. This allows the wire to meet specific performance objectives, including superior vibration resistance, improved ductility, and higher resistivity. One application for the tungsten rhenium alloys is X-ray sources. The high melting point of both elements, together with their high atomic mass, makes them stable against the prolonged electron impact. Rhenium tungsten alloys are also applied as thermocouples to measure temperatures up to 2200 degrees Celsius. The high temperature stability, low vapor pressure, good wear resistance and ability to withstand arc corrosion of rhenium are useful in self-cleaning electrical contacts. In particular, the discharge occurring during the switching oxidizes the contacts. However, rhenium oxide Re207 has poor stability sublimes at approximately 360 degrees Celsius and therefore is removed during the discharge. Rhenium has a high melting point and a low vapor pressure similar to tantalum and tungsten. Therefore, rhenium filaments exhibit a higher stability if the filament is operated not in vacuum, but in oxygen-containing atmosphere. Those filaments are widely used in mass spectrometers, in ion gauges and in photoflash lamps in photography. Catalysts Rhenium in the form of rhenium-platinum alloy is used as catalyst for catalytic reforming, which is a chemical process to convert petroleum refinery naphthas with low-octane ratings into high-octane liquid products. Worldwide, 30% of catalysts used for this process contain rhenium. The olefin metathesis is the other reaction for which rhenium is used as catalyst. Normally Re207 on alumina is used for this process. Rhenium catalysts are very resistant to chemical poisoning from nitrogen, sulfur and phosphorus, and so are used in certain kinds of hydrogenation reactions. Other uses The isotopes 188-RE and 186-RE are radioactive and are used for treatment of liver cancer. They both have similar penetration depth in tissue 5 mm for 186-RE and 11 mm for 188-RE, but 186-RE has advantage of longer lifetime 90 hours versus 17 hours .188-RE is also being used experimentally in a novel treatment of pancreatic cancer where it is delivered by means of the bacterium Listeria monocytogenes, related by periodic trends. Rhenium has a similar chemistry to that of technetium, work done to label rhenium onto target compounds can often be translated to technetium. This is useful for radiopharmacy, where it is difficult to work with technetium, especially the 99 meters isotope used in medicine, due to its expense and short half-life. Precautions Very little is known about the toxicity of rhenium and its compounds because they are used in very small amounts. Soluble salts, such as the rhenium halides or perinates, could be hazardous due to elements other than rhenium or due to rhenium itself. Only a few compounds of rhenium have been tested for their acute toxicity. Two examples are potassium perinate and rhenium trichloride, which were injected as a solution into rats. The perinate had an LD50 value of 2,800 mg per kilogram after seven days this is very low toxicity, similar to that of table salt and the rhenium trichloride showed LD50 of 280 mg per kilogram. 